Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss the problem B from code 4 says around 843 that was rated for div 2. So the problem states that there is this particular gardener and he has an array of n integers c1 up to cn and he wants to find if there is a subsequence of a and b of the original array so we can select some uh, some of the integers and put them in a we can select some of the integers and put them in b also the uh, subsequences must be different right so we cannot have exact uh, subsequences and this relationship should hold that f of a is equal to f of b so what f of a is f of a is basically the uh, bitwise or operation done on all the elements present in a so in a let's say we have two elements c1 and c2 then we'll uh, perform the bitwise or operation on both of them and whatever value we'll be getting that will be the value of f of a see and this value should be equal to f of b that is the other subset we uh, other subsequence we were using so if it's possible to do such a uh, such an operation we'll print a yes else we'll, we'll print a no now one interesting thing over here is that they haven't provided the number directly so what they have rather done is that they have provided us the bits that are set to one so in the test case itself firstly they'll be providing us with the numbers and uh, the numbers aren't directly provided so they'll be providing with the number of bits that are set for a particular number so for example for the first number they have provided two bits are set so the first and the fifth bit is set and for the other numbers two bits are also set so that's two, uh, second and the fourth bit is set for the third number second and the third bit is set so that's how they are providing us the number so this might look a bit complicated but uh, like getting the numbers like this is beneficial for us itself because now we won't need to traverse through the array so as to get uh, where which bit is set so uh, let's look at the logic first and what can be a you know a intuition for this so what they're saying is that uh, they are, we are having different numbers c1 c2 c3 c4 and these are represented in the bits, uh, bits itself so they are they are having binary representation you can say or they are uh, we are just provided with the set bits now what if i want to do is that i'll put all of these elements in my a subset right or in my a sub sequence whatever uh, elements i am having can i put all of the elements in my b as well yes i can but then a would be equal to b right so I want at least one such array which I can remove from this, right? So let's say this is uh, C X or C I, anything I can call it. So even if I move uh, remove C I from this, then also this entire or, or specifically let's talk about numbers rather than talk uh, talking about variables. Some of you might get confused. So let's talk. Uh, let's say we have three numbers: C not, C one, C two, uh, C two, and C three. So we have these four numbers, right? Now what I want to do is that I want to find a C I. So let let's say my ci is two uh, c2 so what i want to do is that c not c1 c3 if i take a or operation over it so this should be equal to c not c1 c2 c3 right so this basically means that i am able to remove a element or a number from the or operation which uh, uh, leaves it unchanged if i am able to do that then i can assign this particular uh, set to b I can set to uh, assign this to A. Now, since these two sets are different, as this would provide uh, like be a possible solution, I can directly print a yes. If I'm unable to do this, uh, do this, then I can print a no. Now, how how can I check this? So, a very simple thing is since we are already given the data in number of bits, right? So, for C4 or the uh, the C I'm looking at or the number I'm looking at, for that I can check. If the bit set in it, let's say it has a B not set and a B two set, right? So bit that zero zero location is set and the bit that second location is set. So now what I can check is that B not should not be only set in CI, right? So if it's not set only in CI, then it would also be set in other element that would be present over here, right? So these are the other elements. So if it's not only set in uh, CI, then it would be set over there. Also, I'll check for all the bits. So I'll be checking for B not B one. Or whatever bit it has, right? Let's say there's another bit B6. So I'll be checking this for B6 as well. Now, if this particular property hold, then I can be sure that um, whatever bit CI is having is also present in some other bits, right? And hence, A is A, A would be equal to B. So this was a pretty easy observation. Like it uh, might take some time to uh, click, or it could ha have happened that uh, you could have been using some other sort of logic and then you got stuck and you couldn't complete it on time. But uh, yeah, this should get better with time, I guess. So when I was uh, going through the questions, uh, question, it took me some time to figure this out. 
but when i was figure uh, able to figure it out so i co uh, like coded it pretty quick so let's talk about the code now so the code is fairly simple so initially what i'm checking is like i'm taking the all the values and i'm keeping a, a check of, of the count of the bits so over here what i'm doing is that there's an ordered map i've taken or a hash map as you call it i'm incrementing the variable or the bit bit count after that i'm going through all the uh, numbers so the numbers are already given to us in terms of bits so i've called it bits and then for every single bit i'm checking that if this bit is only present in this particular number then this cannot be a valid answer right so i'm uh, like uh, making uh, making the answer invalid so, but if then if all of its bits were present in some other numbers as well in that case this can be the element that i can exclude for a and include for b and still fa is equal to fb right so in that case i'll print a yes if i didn't get any uh, valid elements then i'll print a no now i've tested this code up i can show you the code itself the one i tested yeah so this is the sa uh, same logic like i just told you so i'm taking the elements incrementing them if i'm getting a uh, element all of whose bits are at least present in some other numbers then uh, then i'll be going with it if i'm unable to find any such element i'll just print no yeah so that's it for this question this was a pretty short video because the logic also was uh, like short if you need any other help or you want me to solve any other question please uh, please let me know thanks a lot guys